one more thing to do off the top here, and that is this. You know, a couple of years ago, it was announced that Ryan Reynolds, along with, uh, uh, I believe it's Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick, who are the writers of Deadpool, along with Ryan Reynolds, were going to do a remake of Clue. They were going to do their own version of Clue. And amongst a lot of people going, what? Was also a lot of joy. People were really, really excited about it. Well, Jason Bateman was aboard to direct it, but apparently now, unfortunately, scheduling conflicts. I mean, I just don't think they were able to get this thing up and running in time to to fit in Jason Bateman's uh, availability window. He's gone back to Ozark, but they have brought in James Bobbin. Now, James Bobbin directed that great Muppets movie, the not-so-great Muppets follow-up movie, the not-so-great Alice in Wonderland sequel, but he also directed a lot of episodes of Flight of the Condors, and he directed a hell of a lot of the episodes of Ali G. I mean, he just knows how to direct comedy. So apparently now they have brought on James Bobbin to direct this Clue film. Uh, from what I understand, Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick's script, the guys who wrote Deadpool, it's still their script from what I understand. Ryan Reynolds, from what I understand, is still attached. So Rob, let me ask you this. Starting with the basic concept of just them doing another Clue movie, <laughs> Are, are, how do you feel about uh, James Bobbin coming on board and knowing that, you know, Reese and Wernick and that Reynolds are still attached? Is this something that makes you that you're looking forward to or does this seem kind of questionable? How are you feeling about it? Well, I here's the thing. I think the talent they've got Reese and Wernick, I, I've really enjoyed their writing. And Bobbin is a, 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 a fine comedy director. Here's what I worry about. I'm worried about Ryan Reynolds career. I'm, I'll tell you why. I'm worried that his shtick, which is now, I mean, a six underground, I felt I was watching, you know, Deadpool before he became Deadpool, you know, Wade Wilson. I, I think that I, I want to see, I want to see, uh, I have seen Ryan Reynolds stretch. I've seen him do, do work that is actually, I think he's a very fine actor, but I'm getting tired of the Ryan Reynolds comedy shtick. I, I, it's the Van Wilder shtick. You know, it's just it's just moved out of college, and I, I hope that if they do Clue, I would love to see him take on the role that is unexpected. You know, like like I don't know, maybe the same way that Daniel Craig was the inspector in Knives Out. I I hope that Ryan Reynolds, but I, he probably you know won't. But but I loved uh, Clue is not a very good movie. None of the endings make it a very good movie. It's it's fine. A lot of people hold it in high regard. But I love the idea of Clue because I love playing the game as a kid. You know, who doesn't love Clue? So I I actually have high hopes for this project. I, I think that it could look at you got to give it up for Ryan Reynolds for playing in Pikachu, Detective Pikachu. I mean, he's certainly making some off the wall choices, which I totally admire. I just I want it to be good, man. I want it to be good. Here's here's the interesting thing. I got to say. It's a lot like the current kind of, as you put it, shtick that Ryan Reynolds is using at the moment. It reminds me a lot of the Kevin Hart thing. Kevin Hart undeniably has his Kevin Hart shtick. Right. And eventually that will get thin and he'll have to evolve. But for me, I'm still entertained by Kevin Hart's shtick. I, 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 when Kevin right. Hart is full Kevin Hart, I still dig it and I still like it. So, yeah, will it eventually wear off? Yeah, well, and I kind of feel the same way about the Ryan Reynolds thing right now because we just saw him in Hobbs and Shaw. And I got to tell you, his scenes in Hobbs and Shaw were some of my favorite scenes in that movie, you know? Well, that was, that was peak Ryan Reynolds shtick. Yes, I mean, it was. I, I, that was peak. <laughs> I, I really, I thought it worked in that particular role. In Six Underground, it grew thin for me. You I know, think that I, might I, be. I, I'd suggest, and let me throw this. Out, I'd suggest that that might be because the movie itself wasn't very strong. I, I agree. And I wonder. I, I wonder. You might be right. I mean, a part of the movie not being very strong is maybe it's the Ryan Reynolds stick getting thin, or maybe it just felt more thin because I mean I don't know. It could be a chicken or an egg thing. I'm not really sure about that, but. I, I got to say, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing what they're going to do here. So listen, guys, question is to you. You've had a chance to simmer. Maybe you forgot about this Clue movie is coming, but it's it's still coming. How do you feel about James Bobbin coming on board? I got to admit, I'm a little bit disappointed, only because I was really looking forward to seeing what Jason Bateman would do, but I really do like James Bobbin, despite the fact that a couple of his movies are a little on the weaker side. That's fine. How do you guys feel about it? Jump into the comments section below and leave us your thoughts. All right, guys. 